Hi my friends and welcome back to How Hard Can It Be? Where I, Phil Murphy, am attempting to restore a Nauticus 27 foot and hopefully get it on the water for next year. So without further ado, cue the music and let's get on with it. So we're back today, uh, last night as you know I soaked these in some Danish oil and they're nice and dry now so I think these are good to go on the boat. I think they're protected enough from uh, any condensation maybe, I'm not so sure, I'm just uh, going with the flow. Uh, it's just basically uh, waste wood, soft wood that I'm going to uh, stick on the side of the boat with some grip stick. Uh, this is called Evo stick and it's just general, de general it says here, gap filling adhesive uh, for general use. It's really strong stuff and in the carpet industry that's all we use to uh, stick gripper rods down. So I'm assuming if it's good for that, it's going to be good for this. So that's what I'm going to do. You can see I've just stuck the first one on. It doesn't seem to slide down. Uh, so it seems to stay in the position I want it to. So um, I'm happy with that. So I shall get sticking. I'll just do a few and then we'll cut to something else because you don't want to be a bit boring otherwise. Um, what I have done is I've cut most of them to a similar sort of size. Size doesn't really matter. Um, you can, whatever boat you're restoring, just cut it to a, um, a decent size. And then I've got some pieces that are various sizes, uh, some small, just in case I get to the, um, the bow of the boat and uh, they are too big. So I just cut some smaller ones to, uh, to go uh, wherever I wanna put them. So there we go. I'm hoping I've got sufficient, or I've cut sufficient and treated sufficient to do these two areas. But We'll soon find out. So I'm just going to put a layer across the uh, off, uh, across the wood, and then I'm just going to stick them into position. There we have it, it's as simple as that. I've, like I say, I've left a gap so then I can put um, this piece, the new uh, uh, oak panel, I can slide it underneath and then I can put the new, uh, and then the oak panel can go over the top and then hopefully I'll have a pencil line that I can just put a, maybe a bead of something if it's necessary. go around the top and follow the shape of the boat uh, and then um, we'll cut back in once I've done that and you can see um, the finished article and then I shall carry on with the uh, duplicating it on this other side here so um, I'll press plus uh, go and have yourself a cup of tea or a coffee uh, come back and see the finished article see you in a second I oh, can't even see myself yet let me turn that around there we go. You can you see me just about? Well, it's the work that you want to see, not me. So, there you go. Um, I've put some down struts in as well. 
just so then that when I use my nail gun, um, it holds the ply, well, my theory is it's going to hold it to the contour of uh, the boat. I haven't gone to the very end, as you can see. I've brought that last strut just this, this way a bit for now because I still have to make sure that that um, oak section over there is um, fully fitted and, and, and neat. And at the moment, it's, uh, if you've watched my previous episode, that piece was too big. So I've yet to trim that down. Uh, and I'll obviously need to put it in, you know, try it and then keep bringing it away. So if I start putting those, uh, those uh, pieces going down too far over there, then I'm going to have an issue with um, trying to get it to fit. So I've left, I've left that off, uh, those away from it deliberately. Uh, so I'm just going to take the camera off, off the tripod and I'll just show you underneath the boat, uh, underneath this section, uh, how I've done it. And then what I'll do is I'll take some pictures of what I've done because I haven't got x-ray vision. So when it comes to placing uh, the panel over there, obviously I won't, I'll know roughly where those are. But if, I, if I've got it on my camera, I can basically see uh, where they are. And I'll put, also put some markers on these pieces here. I'll put a, a Sharpie mark there and a Sharpie mark on the top. So I know where they are as well, so I can just, I'm, I'm literally going to put one pin in just to hold it into place. Obviously all the rest of them, I can just pin every maybe 6 to 12 inch possibly, I don't know. We'll see how it hugs, how, how well it goes on. It's one of those trial and errors because like I say, I've never done this before. So um, there we go. And obviously inside there will go the um, insulation, uh, which I'm hoping will... Um, work so I'll show you under there forgive the shaky camera for a minute uh, how does this come out there we go okay right so there you have it so you can see underneath the boats. Obviously, some of them they, they don't. I mean, they look like I've just thrown them on, but the, there's little nobbly bits and all sorts of fiberglass. If I can, if it'll show it. Can you see? There's like um, nobbles and all sorts of stuff. So I've put them where they were the flattest. So I'm hoping that will uh, that will survive. So I can see one that's just drooped a bit there. I need to just put that one back into position before it uh, goes off. Uh, but there you go. That's that's what uh, that's what we're up against. You can see the mold molding, and um, you know there's a screw sticking out of there. That's where the top piece of wood is. Uh, so so there you have it. And of course, I will be doing it on that side. You see there's a knob wheel and obviously there's a bolt behind there. Uh, you can see up there as well. So you have to follow the flattest part of the, uh, the boat. But um, hopefully, it's not going to be seen. And then of course the top section, that's got to be done as well. I'd imagine uh, actually will that be the last bit to go on? Uh, hmm, I haven't decided about that but certainly that section there that one that needs to go on first that's for sure. Okay so I shall crack on with the other side and uh, we'll see you later. Right, well, my measuring skills aren't that good because I've now run out of wood. I didn't think it would take as much as it has, especially that side. And as you can see, I've only got two there. So I've done the top section up to there and up to there. So I need to uh, go on the ripsaw, uh, chop some more up, 
uh, and then coat them, wait till they dry, which means that it'll have to be tomorrow before I get on with that, uh, and then I shall carry on. So, uh, because John's away, I have no idea how long uh, this uh, episode that I'm uh, doing at this moment in time is, is taking. So, I shall continue, and if it needs to be broke up into two, then so be it. We'll, uh, we'll have to wait and see when he gets back. So, I will just call it a day for now, and I shall see you tomorrow. See you later. Bye. She will rip a bit of wood. Excuse the hat. I know I look like a criminal, but I just need to look after my hair. Right, mask on. So I've set it at 10 mil like the rest. Uh, obviously we don't want it too thick. We want it the same as uh, the pieces that are already on. This is slightly wider, but I've, I've already ripped some, um, but it'll come in handy anyway. So all in all, I mean that's how many I've cut, so I've got more than more than enough there. So they just need chopping up into bits and then soaking up and then we're good to go again. Wow. Yeah, it's like a snowdrift, isn't it? it? Reminds me of a song. What was that song? Uh, oh yeah. It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas everywhere we go. That's enough. Right, I shall tidy up uh, and then soak them and then we're ready to go um, for tomorrow. So stay tuned. Bye. Uh, no, I haven't gone. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, I thought, well, while I've got the camera down here and it's still all set up and what have you, I thought, now that I've just been on my chop saw and I've chopped what looks like kindling, ready for a fire. Uh, I just thought I'd show you what I do, actually. Um, I mean, it's not it's not rocket science, but uh, I'll just tilt the camera so uh, you can see what I'm doing, uh, and it's quick and easy, uh, and I think it, like like you've seen, uh, it just saves it just protects that wood. So I'll just move the camera, change the angle of the camera, should I say, like that should be enough. Okay. So, this is my favourite substance. Yeah, can't beat a bit of Danish. Danish oil. Oh, let me just put that round. So, there we are. So, basically, all I do is just pour that. You can see how liquid uh, water it is. So, I'll pour a load of that in there. Got my trusty cloth. And. Obviously, got my rubber gloves on, and I basically, oh, I'll tell you what I do need. I'll just move that over to there. 
So basically, I get the wood, I drop it in, get my cloth, throw it in there. In fact, I'll put that on a flat surface. I really need to tidy up. Drop. Okay, so there we have it. There you go. So as you can see, all nicely coated. So I shall, um, I shall put them over there and I'll allow those to dry overnight. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me just get hold of that. Um, right. There we go. Okay, so that really was end of today. So, all being well, I shall see you tomorrow. Bye for now. The wood is glued. So now we come to uh, putting some uh, thermal insulation on. And I'm using, it's basically, it's a bit like bubble wrap really, more than anything, with a foil uh, um, liner on the top. So, I'm going to rough, well, just take rough measurements of each individual square uh, and then put a light contact adhesive just to hold it into place uh, and then I shall get my uh, knife and uh, trim it into position. Uh, I'm going to see what that looks like. I might get away with uh, doing a double layer, I'm not so sure yet. Uh, it's 3mm thick this. So it's very, very thin, uh, but I'm hoping it'll do the job. We'll soon find out anyway. Right, so I'll get cracking and uh, I'll start putting these uh, sections in, wherever my tape measure is. There it is. top you might not be able to see that um, I will fill those in with um, strips of this um, but I'll just get the main areas in for now so then you can see what how the overall effect is uh, I'll just put that piece in there uh, I'll leave that end bit because I've still got to tackle that and once I've got these done and that done uh, in this foil, that's the next job to do because uh, I can't go any further until I get that in. Okay, so part one what I'll do is I'll do the other side uh, and then I might um, put another layer on top of that because uh, I think it'll be worth it and I don't think it'll do it any harm at all. So you don't need me to show you any more on that. So um, that's it. So I think, um, yeah, no, I'll do that. And then I will show you what I've done. And then we will wind this uh, episode up. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so there we go. The uh, foil is up, as you can see, uh, and I also, what I did, I took the liberty of all the waste bits I stuck on top of the other one. So we've now got, instead of three mil thick, we've now got six mil thick. And uh, that will just, that just nestles in between nicely those um, uh, strips of wood that we've, uh, that obviously we've got as uh, a method of putting the oak ply up. So that's a double, uh, skin of that. The two little end bits right at the very end, they're not sprayed on or glued on or anything at this stage because 
the next episode is is that we're going to start putting the oak uh, oak panelling on. So that's going to uh, they'll get put on uh, in the next episode. So uh, what I'll do is I'll I'll show you close up of what I've done uh, and we'll call it a day. I think. Turn this round. There we go. So, as you can see, underneath. The joins you can see there are purely uh, waste bits that I've I've placed on top of um, the main sections. So you can see I've just tucked some just above those pieces of wood as well along there. I've just got to tuck a little bit along the top of there. But all in all, I'm pleased with that. I think that's going to. Uh, keep the cold out very nicely. Okay, well I think that's a wrap for this uh, episode. Uh, it's the episode where it's now Christmas. So I wish to thank you very much for watching from the start, if you have. Whoa, 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 whoa. What, what? what about me? Oh, you want to wish as well. Not part of it. All right, sit your little ass down. You say your piece Merry Christmas, us. everybody, from both of us. Thanks for joining us on this voyage uh, in more ways than one. We hope you have a great 2019. Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! I think that was great, that.